Hi guys. I think you will see, agree through the the windshield, the dirty windshield of my gas sucking truck that it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous over the top beautiful day here in the end times in paradise. Would you look at this? We are on the slopes of the Mount Rainier volcano in Washington State just on this over-the-top glorious early fall Indian summer day in paradise that would be Tuesday September 26 2017 so uh, you know, guys, I th I'm, I'm thinking about just changing my Tuesday rant from my conspiracy, wacko, techno-utopian, mad scientist roundup just to, I, I just think each Tuesday, maybe we'll just check in to some of the, uh, just the headlines in the mainstream media, in the main headlines and on the science pages, just to see how the mainstream media is reporting on um, the end times and the collapse of a planet here on this particularly gorgeous Tuesday. We're going to take Al Gore's advice, open up the head the daily headlines and take a walk through the book of Revelation. And right here, the number one story on planet Earth According to Yahoo News, the number one story on planet Earth, at least 1,000 people evacuated as California wildfire spreads. California residents were forced to evacuate on Monday night due to a 2,000 acre wildfire. Blah, blah, blah. Is there no end? Is there no end going down, uh, good Lord, all of these stories from Puerto Rico? Good Lord. Anyone who wants to see a, uh, a picture of the end times, just go to Puerto Rico or anywhere else down there in the, uh, in the Caribbean from the Caribbean to Palestine, you can decide what this might mean toward the end of the world. Palestinian kills three Israelis in a settlement near Jerusalem. There you go. Uh -huh. Let's see, let's go over there to Paradise in Bali. Fearing eruption of volcano... Thousands begin evacuations in Bali. Nearly 50,000 people have fled the Mount Agung volcano on the Indonesian tourist island of Bali, fearing an imminent eruption. There you go. And then right next to that, we have 75,000 people fleeing a volcano in paradise. And, you know, and looking at this sucker ahead of us, Mount Rainier, doesn't it look beautiful today? That sleeping giant, when that son of a bitch blows its top, we're going to have a lot more than 75,000 people fleeing from their lives. Don't know what this has to do with the end of the world. It's just a, I don't know, just a, an apropos headline from the... Uh, end times. Murdered models blood drained and face ripped off in murder unprecedented outside of wartime reveals L.A. autopsy. A comic book writer ripping off the face and draining the blood of beautiful young women from beautiful skinny young women to just fat ass clueless morons. Here's a real loss to the planet. 
world's heaviest woman dies in Abu Dhabi hospital of heart and kidney failure. 1,100 pounds. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I, you know, guys, I, I mean, I could do a whole rant over North Korea, uh, but every time I do a rant over North Korea, I just get accused of, I don't know, being everything from a roast, from a racist to a clueless fucking moron. All right, we have Pope Francis being accused of heresy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let's take one more look down there at the island of Dominica uh, in the uh, Caribbean. His country destroyed by hurricanes. Dominica Prime Minister implores climate change action. There you go. Good luck on saving Dominica from uh, from future hurricanes. Good Lord. Let's see. North Korea readies jet buildup as U.S. bombers Fly in. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, okay, for those of you not aware of this, here is what farms do to hens who are too old to lay eggs. Uh, I have mentioned before that the, the life of an egg chicken... And a, a brooder hen, I guess you call them, is that the correct word, is the most horrific life of any animal on the planet. I love these people who do not eat chicken, but eat eggs. From, uh, from that apocalyptic hell to, I've mentioned this one, before, I believe, but I guess it bears mentioning anyone who wonders about why just one reason we're in the end times. This peanut butter and jelly grilled cheese is peak sandwich. It's actually peanut butter and jelly grilled cheeseburger is peak sandwich. You could argue that the peanut butter and jelly sandwich is hands down the best sandwich made in American history. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, and I'm just, I, I, I'm just throwing dots here, guys. Uh... All of this stuff with these Roy Hingyas. Oops, I have not gotten out either one of my buttons for this rant. Better get out my buttons. Wildlife groups funded by the World Wildlife Fund and other conservation groups have carried out systematic abuses against pygmies in Central Africa. Warning, warning, bullshit alert. Uh, moving along. Uh, well, here's some good news. The U.S. Navy's nuclear submarines could be made obsolete obsolete. There you go. <laughs> More about shit going on in Palestine. Uh, let's go from Palestine to Syria. U.S. backed forces say Russia attacked them. 
in eastern Syria. Yeah, here's, I'll get back to this one on Thursday, about Donald Trump blaming Puerto Rico for Hurricane Maria. Okay. British tourist mauled to death in Greece by rabid wolves, not stray dogs, coroner believes. That was bullshit. Huh. So we have several versions of this story. Okay, here we go from U.S. News and World Report. Four eco-conscious hotels to visit this fall, no doubt in an airplane. That was bullshit. Okay. Andy, I'm sending this one out to you for a comment. In support of the United Nations 2017 Sustainable Development Goals Report, the $4 billion global travel industry is making efforts to lower its carbon footprint. So this is how you can fly to an eco-conscious hotel to celebrate the UN's 2017 Sustainable Development Goals. Oh, come on now. That ain't even bullshit. That's horseshit. G, G, D, D. Here's some more GMO corn litigation. As Syngenta AG has agreed place to pay close to one and a half billion dollars to resolve lawsuits stemming from its decision to commercialize a gen genetically modified strain of corn before China approved it. There you go. I've mentioned this when the four bears repeating about plastic water bottles in national parks, such as the national park I'm inside now. A national park ban uh, on these plastic water bottles saved, saved two million plastic bottles and still Donald Trump reversed it. Oh, shit. Yes. Uh, a ban on bottled water in 23 national parks prevented up to 2 million plastic bottles from being used. But I guess uh, Donald Trump just doesn't understand why that's a good thing. Anyway, uh, the fantasy photo booth in South Sudan using pictures as a vacation from war. That was bullshit. In a bright and boxy photo studio in South Sudan's capital, uh, an, industri an industrious printer is spitting out a glossy stack of exotic vacation snapshots, quote, couches, grand pianos, far away houses, these are the things people from South Sudan most like to have as the background in their pictures. No shit, so Asking the question, what is destroying your gut. Okay, we have an arrest on the London train bomb attack. Uh, here is hundreds dead in Ethiopia ethnic clashes. Oh, shit. 
clashes that erupted in Ethiopia this month between two of the country's largest ethnic groups have killed hundreds of people and displaced thousands more than government said on Monday. No shit, Sherlock. United Arab Emirates to open Arab Gulf's first nuclear reactor in 2018. No shit, the $20 billion Baraka nuclear reactor coming online next year. <clears throat> Back to North Korea. North Korea blows up U.S. aircraft carrier and jets in new propaganda video. No shit, Sherlock. There you go. Next to that, Russian forces start air bombing drill near North Korea border. No shit, Sherlock. Let's go from North Korea to Sub-Saharan Africa. Democratic Republic of the Congo security forces used lethal force on protesters. No shit, Sherlock. From Sub-Saharan Africa to Japan. Japan kills 177 whales in Pacific Campaign. No shit, Sherlock. Japan said, Japan bragged Tuesday it has killed 177 whales off its northeast coast in an annual hunt that sparks anger among animal rights activists and others. No shit, Sherlock. And they're not even talking about the uh, the whale wars that the uh, Sea Shepherd Society has raised the white flag on. Uh, what is the EPA's latest bullshit statement coming out of Texas? The Environmental Protection Agency said Sunday it has recovered 500 17 containers filled with unidentified, potentially hazardous material found floating in or washed up along Texas waterways after the devastating floods from Hurricane Harvey receded. No shit, Sherlock. There you go. Uh, what is Elon Musk up to? Elon Musk will give a big SpaceX talk about going to Mars this week. I think they mean, I don't think they're going to Mars this week. I think Elon Musk is giving a big SpaceX talk about Mars this week. That's what I'm assuming this is saying. U.S. Energy Secretary Rick Perry asks the oil industry to study carbon capture technology. That was bullshit! Yep, yep, yep. How high is air pollution in your city and how does it compare to the most polluted cities in the world? According to a recent report, one in four deaths among children aged under five are now due to environmental hazards such as air pollution and contaminated water, otherwise known as Mother Nature bringing out her broom. All right, a new way to save the planet, energy from water evaporation. Bullshit detected. Take precautions. 
There you go. Uh, evaporation of rainwater could one day produce vast stores of clean energy. And then we have next to it potential for natural evaporation as a reliable, renewable energy resource. Oh, come on now, that ain't even bullshit. That's horseshit. Well, here's some good news. Wolves discovered living just outside Rome for first time in more than a century. They're probably going to be rapid like those wolves in Greece. Jesus. Let's see, we're getting down into the sports. Here we go. Panda habitat loss puts bears, pandas are not bears, they're pandas, at risk. Panda habitats are smaller than they were when Pandas were first declared to be endangered almost 30 years ago. No shit, Sherlock. Meaning the animals are still at risk. No shit, Sherlock. There you go. Uh, what does black yellow mean? Here we go. All right. New model confirms endangered right whales are declining. No shit, Sherlock. No, you think so? All right. Botanical gardens are the world's best hope for saving threatened plants. Yep, yep, yep. But we're going to wrap up the main headlines for September 26, 2017 with a question. How would a hydrogen bomb explosion affect the Pacific Ocean? As the war of words between the U.S. and North Korea continues to escalate, the, the little maggot hinted last week that he may test a hydro he may test a hydrogen bomb in the Pacific Ocean. No shit, Sherlock. Okay, but from the general headlines, since I normally spend Tuesday on the science pages, what's going on? Uh, and on the science pages on this gorgeous day here in paradise. Why futurist Ray Kurzweil is not, is not worried about technology stealing your job. Bullshit detected. Take precautions. Here's a weird one. Can an active hurricane season lead to an increase in earthquakes, with Mexico still reeling from devastating earthquakes and aftershocks that occurred at the time that major hurricanes plowed through the Atlantic Ocean? Uh, some might wonder whether the two natural disasters are somehow related. Um, we will see about that. Many stories on how Trump basically blamed Puerto Rico for the devastation from Hurricane Maria. All right, many stories out today. Mystery of how the Great Pyramid was built has finally been solved. Bullshit level, DEFCON 5! Here we go. It has finally been solved. The 4,500 year old mystery. And the answer to the mystery is 
they floated the 100 ton blocks in on rafts in canals. Oh, come on now, that ain't even bullshit. That's horseshit. Now, uh, assuming you can even swallow that horseshit, so that's how they got there. Now, how they got up there on those pyramids and all lined up and all that other stuff, I guess not being mentioned. From Egypt, from bullshit in Egypt to bullshit in France. French government declares war on pesticides. Warning, warning, bullshit alert. France is planning to cut back on use of pesticides, though it rode back. It rode back on an announcement of an outright ban on Monsanto's controversial chemical glyphosate. No shit, Sherlock. More about whales, more about volcanoes. Well, here's some good news, and uh, I don't know whether to hit the bullshit detector button on this one or not. Uh, Brazil scraps bid to mine Amazon Natural Reserve. The Brazilian government backed off of a controversial proposal to authorize private companies to mine a sprawling Amazon reserve Monday after blistering domestic and international outrage. So hopefully that is going to be true. Several versions of this one. Plastic waste now polluting the Arctic Ocean. No shit, Sherlock. Plastic waste in the ocean is now so widespread, it is polluting remote ice flows in the Arctic, scientists have discovered. No shit, Sherlock. A story next to that. Plastic debris found on one of the world's most inaccessible sites. No shit, Sherlock. Yes. Well, we just heard of the uh, pyramids, so now we have archaeologists solve mystery of how Easter Island's tiny population built hundreds of giant statues. From Easter Island to Antarctica, massive iceberg breaks off glacier in Antarctica. An enormous Antarctic glacier, four times the size of Manhattan, otherwise meaning over 100 square miles in size, has broken off the second time in two years the glacier has lost such a large piece in a process that has scientists concerned. No shit, Sherlock. Yep, yep, it's been a big week for gene therapy. No shit, Sherlock. <clears throat> See how human activity is changing animal migration patterns. No shit, Sherlock. Jesus. Animal migration patterns. Lady D D D. I have no idea what this means. Australia to fire its pork barrel into space. There you go. Uh, 
need to adapt may not have caused brain evolution. No shit, Sherlock. Yes, humans have entrenched themselves at the top of the food chain, something most people take for granted and ascribe to the powers of the human brain. Hmm. Being empathetic is good, but it can hurt your health. We already went over this one. Giant panda's habitat is shrinking. No shit, Sherlock. Here are these are the horrifying things a nuclear war would do to the planet. No shit, Sherlock. The possibility of a nuclear war is higher right now than it was in the 1960s. No shit, Sherlock. Tracking Rome's economy through its lead pipes. <clears throat> anyway. Okay, back to Antarctica. Vanishing Antarctic snowflakes may alter sea level rise. No shit, Sherlock. D, 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 D. Make agriculture fun in the classroom. No shit, Sherlock. Is the earth flat? We all have questions we struggle with. For rapper B.O.B., it's why he should believe the earth is round. He has spoken publicly about believing in a flat earth for two years now and is raising money a oh, rapper B.O.B. is raising money for satellites to prove to him the earth is actually round D D D D we're building a 1,000 mile long underground science experiment to study the world's most elusive particles. <clears throat> study finds being in a good mood for your flu jab boosts its effectiveness. If you smile when you get your flu shot, it will work better. Level, five. You know, we've been talking about before how the phosphorus shortage is going to end life on this planet, human life. But don't worry, we now have recovering phosphorus from human sewage to save the humans. Oh, come on now, that ain't even bullshit. That's horseshit. How about 6,000 pounds of rotting pig carcasses? 6,000 pounds of rotting pig carcasses can teach you a lot about nature. Forbes magazine has a question for us. Would the universe still exist if no life existed to uh, observe it? No shit, Sherlock. Uh, this is from Veganism magazine. My friend is a biology major who claims to be an environmentalist and wants to help animals by working at a zoo. There you go. Okay, from Mars 
to Venus. NASA designed this low-tech rover to survive Venus. Venus is not pleasant. Derek Jensen should have had this one for his Myth of Human Supremacy book. Scientists spent a month terrifying guppies to prove that fish have personalities. D D D D. Anyway, guys, uh, here's about redwood trees are fucked. Uh, here's how asteroids may seed life throughout the universe. That's good to know. Uh, all right, how many more? Let's see. Two more. Rare footage shows Russia detonating a nuclear weapon to create a new lake named Atomic Lake. And next to that article, wrapping up the science pages of the mainstream media and this End Times Headlines rant for September 26, 2017, why we must not build automated weapons of war. No shit, Sherlock. Okay, guys, and that will bring me to the close of this week's romp through the Book of Revelation here on the mainstream media. And that out of the way, I need to get back to paradise here. It's probably about 82 degrees today on September 26, heading to 85 in late, late September in the Washington Volcanoes in the next couple of days. I'm going to get out there and enjoy Indian summer while I still can. Bye guys.